Bevel Limelisk was the lead designer behind many major superweapons including both Death Stars, the Eclipse, and the Darksaber. You might be wondering why someone who allowed that fatal flaw in the Death Star's thermal exhaust port through would be allowed to continue designing superweapons with no consequence. Well, after the Battle of Yavin, the Emperor had Limelisk cloned, just so he could have the pleasure of executing him. Palpatine then used the dark side power of Essence Transfer to move his consciousness into another body so that he could work on the second Death Star. Learning from his original design, he removed the 2 meter wide exhaust port in favor of millions of millimeter wide ports. He also improved upon the size and rate of fire, making the new station even more dangerous. Despite the steps forward, Palpatine cloned, executed, and transferred Limelisk six more times, partly out of spite, but also because Palpatine wanted to test his abilities before using them on himself which he did in Dark Empire. After the second Death Star's destruction, Bevel went to work for Durga the Hutt, building the Darksaber. Limelisk himself predicted the weapon would fail due to Durga's lack of resources. He was correct in his assumption, and was captured by the New Republic. He was tried and executed for genocide. His final words to his firing squad requested that if he were to die, at least get it right this time. Current rumors for Rogue One state that Mads Mikkelsen's character will be none other than the creator of the original Death Star. However, I don't believe he will share much in common with his Legends counterpart. That's it for today. Please subscribe, like, and share to see new Star Wars videos every weekday. And if there's a specific Star Wars topic you'd like me to cover, leave it in the comments and I'll do an episode about it. As always, thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.